go. We are live with this beginner's class. 30 minutes is ahead of us. We're gonna take it slow. We're gonna learn about all the amazing few features that Murasumu offers. And to be honest, we're just chilling. We're just having fun today. So we better just get started. Therese MB, are you ready? Are you ready to get this party started? Therese is definitely ready. She's been ready all day. Therese is ready. Let's get this party started. If you go ahead, loosen up. MB is ready as well. If you go ahead, loosen up all of the resistance on your bike. So that means you don't have any resistance on your bike. And then you add a tap. You add just a little bit. So this is what we call resistance one. This should feel like riding an easy flat road. Resistance one. We do have a total of four resistances here at Motosumo, and I'm gonna talk you through every single one of them. So don't you worry, this is a beginner's class. We're gonna take it slow. We're gonna go through all the resistances, all the zones, and we're gonna do it slow, and we're gonna have fun while we do it. All right? Definitely, Therese is ready to have fun. Therese knows that, like, you see, <laughs> she knows what emoji to send me, because this one is my emoji. All right, guys, if you go ahead and look down on your app, in the bottom of your app, you'll see a number. That number shows you RPMs. That means rounds per minute. That's how fast we are moving our legs. So the app actually, if you place your phone on your handlebars or on your bike anywhere, the app will detect that for you. How that technology works, I don't know, but it works, it's great, and it will detect it for you. So that's pretty much all you gotta know. So you gotta look at that number and see how fast you're moving your legs. So right now my number shows 90 RPMs. If I go ahead, move them a little faster, in between 90 and 100 RPMs, that half circle above the number will turn yellow. That is the yellow zone, and that's exactly where I want you right now. So in between 90, and 100 RPMs, yellow zone, and you guys already there. I'm actually the only one that's not there yet. There you go, now we are all there, and we're gonna stay there for 60 seconds. All right, guys, resistance one, yellow zone. And one more thing, which is a good idea, and I just looked around and realized that I didn't even have it myself, is a good idea to have a towel nearby, because if you like me, you're gonna sweat a lot, so a towel is a good idea. And normally I will show you that I have a towel, but I don't have a towel right now. But it's a good idea to have a towel, and you are, if you don't have a towel, more than welcome to go and get one. At any time during this class, you can go get off your bike if you don't feel comfortable or anything like that. Just get off the bike and get on, back on when you're ready to do so. One more thing, which is a good idea, and I actually have this one is a water bottle and Brooke Emery is in the house <laughs> celebrating that with a water bottle it's a good idea to have a water bottle that's definitely a good idea because as I said when we are sweating a lot we don't want to dehydrate we need some water as well and with that said let's go ahead and add some more resistance so we add a little bit more going into resistance 2 so how resistance 2 should feel it's like riding in sand or doing a gravel ride. Or if you're still on the nice, easy flat road, I, I often say this, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm the only instructor saying this, but I do feel like it feels like riding in a headwind, on a flat road in a headwind. So that's how I feel it should feel like. But if you prefer riding in sand or gravel, it's fine as well. Only thing you gotta know is resistance to, and we are in green zone. Green zone is in between 70. <laughs> I can't, oh, they are sending so many emojis down. <laughs> that it's going crazy. Everybody is here. Tuesday party going on. All right, we are in green zone in between 70 and 85 RPMs at resistance too. Just chilling. And you know what? I'm gonna put on another timer. So you'll see the timer in the top of your screen. I'm gonna put on a timer of 60 seconds. Resistance to green zone, chilling to the music, celebrating Tuesday, celebrating blue skies, not celebrating that summer is over, because some places it's not, but I do feel like in Denmark summer is over, because it's starting to get a little bit cold. But that's fine as well. Let's go. Resistance to green zone. MB, Brooke Emery, Brooke Emery is always green. 
zero RPMs at her end. Therese is hitting it spot on. MB Kiever tends to hit blue zone as well all the time. Don't know why, but it's fine. This is a beginner slash you can do whatever you like. You want to get off the bike, get off the bike. You want to like follow my lead. What the, the amount of resistance I say, the zones I say, go ahead and follow that. But if you just want to see what Murasumo is like and completely freestyle, you can do that as well. And right now, what I would like you to do is going into resistance three. So this one should feel like riding in mud, or maybe go a little bit uphill, just a small little hill, small incline. So go ahead, add on more resistance, going into resistance three. This time we are dropping all the way, right, all the way down into blue zone. Blue zone is in between 50 and 65 RPM. So if you go ahead, look at my legs, they are starting to move really, really slow. I, I promise you, they're not gonna stop moving, but they're just moving slow, so in between 50 and 65. And if you go ahead and look down on your app, that half circle will hopefully show a blue color. If you're in between 50 and 65, it will show a blue color, and that's where we're at right now. Blue zone. Resistance, three. Small hill we are on right now. MB, are you joining the blue squad? No, he's going into yellow. That's a, he's going freestyle, it does, that's fine as well. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, I'm gonna put on a timer of 30 seconds. We are in blue zone at resistance, three. Therese is already tired. Therese, that's not good. It's been too long since you've been on the Murasumo app, if you're already tired. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, guys, on the beat drop. If you feel comfortable to do so, stand up with me into position two. Let's go. Blue zone, standing up. This is what we call position two here at Murasumo. We're gonna stay here for 30 more seconds. Position two, standing up. It's really, really easy. All you gotta do is pretty much push and pull. Make sure you're not rocking too much from side to side. Stay steady, stay in blue zone, enjoy it, put on a smile, and push for 12 more seconds. Brooke is definitely not standing up, still producing zero RPMs, but we're gonna keep on pushing. Three more seconds, two, one, and sit back down. Guys, loosen up resistance. Going into resistance one, green zone. Just chilling. Resistance one, green. This is where we do all, I think Brooke is leaving. Let's say bye to Brooke. With, <laughs> I've been sweating so much today that my, <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, Brooke, I'm just waving, anyhow. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> all right, guys. Green zone, resistance one. Okay, <laughs> this is definitely not working. Um, yeah. Anyhow, we are in green resistance one. This is where we do all of our recovery time. Just chilling. And it's also a great time. As I said, if you do have a water bu bottle, grab a sip of water. Gen D is back with me. Gen D, welcome. Gen D just did the most amazing Stronger Together ride. So that's another class we have here at Motosumo. We do have plenty of amazing classes. And Gen D did amazingly. All right. Everybody is green. Resistance one. I'm gonna put on another timer, 60 seconds. And hopefully I can... Oh, there you go, my app is working again. Yes! All right, green zone, resistance one. What I was about to say is it's a perfect time to grab a sip of water. Wipe off the sweat. Just chilling, catch your breath. If you've got a heart rate monitor attached, you will see your heart rate drop down, hopefully. Teresa's heart rate is probably through the roof still, but that's just Teresa. She's always, always going all out. Cheers. I don't know if you can see it. I just pure water down all over me. All right. <laughs> Jendi, you are a badass. Going back to back. Just did a 45 minutes class and now you're back. Good job. All right. Coming up is a red zone push. 
what we just been through. We've been through resistance one, two, and three. We've been through blue, yellow, and blue, green, and yellow zone. So we do also have a red zone here at Motosumo. And for the people who've, who've do, ever done a Motosumo ride, you for sure know the red zone. Look at Teresa's emojis. Red zone is pretty tough. Red zone is in between 110 and 130 RPMs. We just going there a couple of times today, nothing crazy, just so we can have a taste of it. Right now we are at resistance one, getting ready to push towards red zone. How I personally like to do it, so I'm sure, like I make sure that I don't lose my head completely, not go too crazy, is I'm targeting 120 RPMs. That's the middle of the red zone, that's a perfect spot to hit. If you're not comfortable going higher than that, try to target 120. Guys, are you ready? Therese, are you ready? Gen D, are you ready? MB, are you ready? Red zone push coming up. I know this song is more of a rhythm, but I do want to taste the red zone as well. In three, two, one, 30 seconds in to red, targeting 120 RPMs. We are at resistance one. Let's go. MB, you're coming as well, joining the red zone party. Jendi, pretty impressive you are. Five, three, two, one, back down into green. Back down into green, chilling. Listen to the beat. We still have one more red zone pushing us. I feel it, one more red zone, exactly, Therese. Turning up the heat. Are you ready for another red zone push? Just one more, guys. We still have one more. In three, two, one. Another red zone push, 30 seconds. Let's go. I'm gonna put on a timer, 120 RPMs. Last red zone push. MB is already up there. Look at MB, look at Gen D, look at Therese. I don't know why my app is showing blue zone because I'm definitely in red. There you go, 120 RPMs. Woo, hold it for 10 more seconds. Let the music play out. And three, two, one, green. Good timing that was. Green zone, resistance one. Yet another time, have a sip of water, wipe off your sweat. We are in green. We just tried all the zones. So only thing we have left to try is, any guesses? Any guesses? What are we missing? We got a couple of OGs in here, so I definitely, you guys should be able to guess this one. We've been through all the zones. We're still missing one thing. We're still missing one thing. Is there any emojis that can show it? A bike, Gen D, a bike. That's pretty much everything. Yeah, a superhero, that's that's more accurate. All right, we are missing resistance. Cake, we are missing cake as well. We are always missing cake. We are missing resistance fall. That's a really, really steep climb. Imagine going towards the steepest climb you've ever been on. That's how resistance fall should feel. We're going there in blue zone in between 50 and 65, as I said. So guys, if you are ready, we're gonna hit a really steep mountain, a two minutes mountain. And Gen D know this one because she just did a Strongest Together class. We did a couple of these two minutes mountains. This time, we're only doing one, guys, only one. So go ahead, add on, resistance, going into resistance four, blue zone, resistance four. And I'm gonna put on a time of two minutes. We are in blue, resistance four. This is a seven, a eight, out of 10, maybe seven and a half. So you definitely feel a lot of resistance underneath those legs. As I said in last climb, imagine doing Vuelta Espana. That's a bike race going on right now. They do hit a lot of these steep, steep mountains, but it's definitely more warm down there as well. Get ready to stand up with me for 10 seconds. Stay in blue, let's go. Stand up. Blue zone, stand up. Five more seconds. 
three, two, one, sit back down. All of it is in blue all the way through. When that red timer is hitting 30 seconds, we got another stand up for 20 seconds. 20 seconds stand up when it hits 30. So get ready in 10. We're gonna stay in blue zone, so nothing crazy, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. Try to hit the beat. Should be around 60 RPMs. With 10 seconds to go, we sit back down. Three, two, one, and sit back down. All the way to the mountain top now, guys. All the way. We want to get up there. Three, two, one. Loosen up resistance. Going into resistance one. Green zone. Just chilling. Take a breath. In and out. I'm going to put on 60 seconds this time. Because I'm sweating. And this is a beginner's class. We don't want to go too crazy. Even though you guys are pushing me. All right, 60 seconds on the clock. All right, so if you do like, now we've done it all. If you do like, like power efforts like that, high amount of resistance, you should try a Stronger Together class. Gen D just did one. How did you like it, Gen D? The Stronger Together class, how was it? Hopefully she will answer, or her, she will answer me now. Yeah, well, Gen D said, it's good. That's that's all. Oh, that's hearts as well. All right, all right. It was really good. You should do a stronger together class if you do like more steady efforts, longer steady efforts. That's more of an endurance game class. We do have fast and fun. If you like red zone, we do have it all. And I just wanted to make sure that you guys tried it all while we inside this beginners class. And in. Five seconds, we are doing a small build in three, two, one. So what we're doing now is building up on either RPMs or resistance, starting off like we had right now, resistance one, green zone for 30 more seconds. So we either gonna build up on resistance or RPMs. Gen D knows this one, but we are not hitting the red zone. We are steady pushing towards red zone without hitting it. I promise you. All right, in 10 seconds, get ready to hit the yellow zone. You got 10 seconds to enter the yellow zone. Yellow zone in between 90 and 100 RPMs. In five, three, two, one, we are in yellow. When all of that leaderboard is in yellow, I'm gonna put on a time. I was not even done saying it before you guys hit, hit yellow. I'm gonna put on a timer of 60 seconds. 60 seconds in yellow. Resistance one. This is a six out of 10 efforts. Should be like doable. You should be able to hold this amount of resistance, this zone for quite some time. We are only at resistance one. All right, guys, we are killing it so far. We got 11 minutes to go. And let me see. Yeah, we do have a couple of good efforts to go and a lot of fun to get through. Tuesday are uh, sometimes quite tough, but they, they also, like if you missed Monday's classes, Tuesdays are perfect to get back on the bike. Like just in general, in terms of working out, but also just like in, in life, I mean, it's still start of the week, so there's still plenty of time <laughs> to get back on it. All right, in five seconds, we are going above 100 RPMs. In between 100 and 110 RPMs, we are still at resistance one, guys. In between 100 and 110. MB, get up there. Therese, get up there as well. In between 100 and 110 for one minute. 60 seconds on the clock. Last effort at resistance one for now. And you know what, guys? 
I, I, I don't know what I did with my finger there, but, but I was supposed to like turn on the violet color. I don't know what that was. That was weird. But it worked! It worked! We are in violet and we are inside the last 10 minutes, guys. We are above 100 RPMs, below 110. <laughs> I'm glad you like. You, Gen D like the finger in here. All right. Last effort at resistance one. So in 20 seconds, we are going back down into green zone, but this time into resistance two, my friends. Resistance two. We are building all the way to the finish of this class now. So in 10 seconds, get ready. Resistance two, green zone. In three, two, one. Add on resistance. Going into resistance two. Green zone in between 70 and 85 RPMs. Green zone, but more resistance. Let's get it. When all of you are in green, I'm gonna put on another timer. This one, a little bit longer. Therese is in green. Oliver, is, that's me, I'm in green as well. Jen, D. Get down into green, MB, get down into green. And Gen D is in green, MB, you're gonna come as well? Otherwise, we're gonna stay in green for quite some time. Get down there. All right, I'm gonna put on a timer of two minutes. This one is a longer effort. So, as I said, <laughs> as I said, oh, now all of you are in green, good job. As I said, resistance to green zone, that's it. That is our endurance zone. So that's what we do quite a lot in our endurance game classes. So now we're gonna try it out. Maybe you like it, then you should join a endurance game class. Maybe you hate it, then never go there. Never go there, guys. All right, one minute and 30 seconds to go. Green zone, resistance two. We are getting closer towards the end of this class, which is actually a bit sad. I do know one person who is looking forward to this specific Tuesday class every week. And she's actually here joining this class today. There she is. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Therese is actually working at our HQ. So I see her every Tuesday before I'm going down into the basement where our studio is and she's all, always joining my Tuesday late class and I love you for that Therese true fan you are <laughs> all, love. all right we got 30 more seconds and I do feel like we do Jendi I think you will come back right now we've done two in a row you definitely should all right, 20 more seconds in green at resistance two. That's a thumbs up. I'm happy about that. All right, let's see if my emoji works. Guess what they did? <laughs> Five more seconds. All right, in three seconds, we are pushing into the yellow zone. Yellow zone at resistance two. Guys, we are still at Resistance too, but now we are in yellow. And if you look at your heart rate, if you got a heart rate monitor on, slowly getting up there. At least mine are. All right. Resistance to yellow zone. As I said, I'm gonna put on a timer of two minutes, another long push. And then we almost done for the day. We're missing one thing, but we'll get back to that. All right. So pretty much all we got to focus on now is two minutes, or actually one minute and 40 seconds at resistance to yellow zone. And then we got two times one minute, and then we are done for today. You guys been absolutely amazing so far. I started off this class with saying that I had the best Stronger Together class I've ever had. But this is a really, really strong follow-up, I must say that. Especially when Gen D is here, so, so you can hear if I say anything bad about the other class. I have to say that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I actually said it, I promise you. One more minute. Yellow zone, 
resistance too. Guys, we are on that final stretch of the day. I hope, I seriously hope that you enjoyed it. Or maybe right now you don't feel like you enjoyed it because you have difficulty breathing. But then hopefully afterwards you will feel like you enjoyed it. At least I hope so. 30 more seconds, yellow zone. All right, guys, let me explain about these last two times one minute, then we're done. The first one minute is gonna be us pushing in between 100 and 110 RPMs, just like we did before, but this time we still at resistance too. So in 10 seconds, get ready to push towards 100 and 110, in between 100 and 110 RPMs in three, two, one, let's get it. Guys, this is an eight out of 10 effort in between 100 and 110 at resistance two. We are not in red. We are in between 100 and 110. And the last effort of the day is gonna be at resistance three. I promise you guys that we were building up. So this time we are building up on RPMs one last time. So resistance three in 20 seconds. Resistance three, one minute at yellow zone. Just yellow zone, just above 90 RPMs. So don't go 100, 110, that's impossible. Just be above 90 RPMs in 10 seconds. Guys, if you are ready, go ahead, slowly. Add on RPMs, no, add on resistance. One last time of the day, resistance three, yellow zone. I'm gonna put on a timer, let's get it. 60 seconds, last push of the day. Stay in yellow, resistance three. This is a nine out of 10 effort. Hold it all the way to the finish line. And if it's too hard, and or you feel uncomfortable at all, Drop down into green, it's completely fine. Just make sure that you are having fun for these next 30 seconds. Make sure that you enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it, put on a smile anyway. Just fake it, it will help, I promise you. 20 seconds, let's get it, let's get it guys. And if you're in doubt, if I enjoy it, I definitely am. 10 seconds, let's go! All the way now, come on guys! We got five! Three, two, one! And we just did that. Loosen up the resistance on your bike. Woo, I'm gonna lose up my resistance, I can tell you that. Go down into resistance one, you can even go below. Make sure your legs are spinning just a little bit. Guys, we freaking just did that. <sighs> Breathe in with me all the way down to your stomach. I'm, I, I need it, so you can do it with me if you want. Let's breathe in. One more time. In. Push your left heel towards the ground and hips forward, just like I do. Heel towards the ground, hips forward, so you do feel a long stretch all the way down into your legs. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If that was your first class, if you're on demand, it was your first class, seriously, hope you enjoyed it. You should try some of the other amazing classes we have here at Motosumo. We do have other instructors as well, and they are absolutely great. My name is Oliver, I do have classes on Tuesday. You can find us on Instagram and, at, and Facebook. We do have a Facebook community at Ad Motosumo. It's Fritz Lakes. I do have an Instagram as well. You can see my name on the screen. You can find me if you want. Feel free to do so. And guys, one last thing for today. Other than I absolutely enjoyed it. Hope you did as well. Therese, Gen D, MB, amazing job. Press pause in the upper hand, right corner. Press pause and then save this class. So you got all of this amazing work saved inside the app. I'm gonna send you some hearts as well. Guys, you killed it. MB, Therese, Gen D, all up from Denmark, from me to you. My name is Oliver, signing off. Have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye.